How you doing, everybody? Anthony here from Tactics of Toys. Uh, for those of you who are just seeing this for the first time or seeing me for the first time, I am a part-time uh, reseller. I sell on eBay, Amazon, Macari, eCrater, and I, that's it. Uh, I have a full-time job. I work for the Army as a civilian. Uh, I'm also in the Army Reserve and Senior Leader position, which is like a second full-time uh, job. And today's video, sorry about all the movement, I'm going to tell you what sold from October 28th to the 10th of November and show you some of the new items I got in from one of my wholesalers. So let's turn the camera around, we'll go low tech, and I'm just going to film right in my computer screen and you can see everything and I'll tell you a little story behind whatever. All right. All right, here we are. Let's get started from uh, 28 October to 10 November. It was a bit of a slow couple of weeks. So here's a set of... Uh, Paratrooper boots, uh, for those of you uh, who watch who may have been in the military, um, the airborne community, the soldiers in the Army who wear the Maroon Berets, uh, wear these boots in their dress uniform. Uh, this was sold for $123 with free shipping. And he left good feedback because got, they got there within a couple days. This is something I picked up on government liquidation. Uh, it is a common access card reader uh, that functions on Bluetooth. Unfortunately, the Department of Defense does not allow it on government computers or networks, but you can use it on a personal computer. This is my high, unfortunately, this is my highest return item uh, because people buy it. They can't get it to work on their computer because they don't know how to do it. And then they file a item not as described and then I have to go through, jump through hoops. But this guy hasn't complained, so apparently he made it work. Uh, this is a Monster Force action figure. It's Lance Magruder. He was the leader of the Monster Force that went around battling Dracula and the werewolf and Frankenstein and all that. And he sold for $26.50 with free priority shipping. Oh, the um, this thing full, sold for full price at $64.50. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I did free shipping on it. Uh, this is... Uh, one of the legends of Lucha Libre, he is uh, Blue Demon Jr. I have two variations of him. I have him like what you see now and him in a suit as well. He sold for $24.50 with free shipping and he went first class. This went to uh, Canada. It is a uh, limited edition Volkswagen New Beetle. It sold for $18.50. And um, it says shipping was free here, but I know he paid for shipping. And apparently he received it, shows his delivered, hasn't left me any feedback, uh, but I do have to go in and leave him, I owe him some feedback. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this I picked up at uh, the thrift shop right outside the base. It is a key ring, basically. In the Air Force, these are on um, planes and helicopters, and apparently in the aeronautic industry, it's on on its own uh, spacecraft too. You have to take it off before you fly because it's fixed items or something along those lines or for to show it's been inspected. Back um, around 2000, 2003 and 2004, these were really coveted, particularly at the height of the war when all the services started working together. And then someone just took it upon themselves to make their own, add a key ring on it rather than just a solid ring. And um, I sold it. I just threw it up at a random price. It sold in 24 hours and uh, it went to somebody in my same in the same state I'm in, and some, someone in Long Valley, New Jersey. And um, you know, for those of you who don't know Long Valley, New Jersey, if you are a military buff and um, you know about the Battle of Mogadishu, one of the Rangers uh, that had died was from Long Valley, New Jersey, uh, Jamie Smith. This was uh, a Warhammer lot. I have there's. Two layers of these figures, and then there were a whole bunch of loose ones and big bags of them. I was originally going to break them up and um, and lot them up in individual lots, but it's just so overwhelming, the amount of Tyranids and whatever else it is, that um, I just put it all together, put it up for a price, and went to some guy in Pennsylvania uh, with free shipping. Uh, this is uh, Blu-ray and Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand the fascination with this movie. I watched it, and I had to watch it again, see if I missed something. Everyone think, finds it so funny. Not sure, but hey, it's sold. 
This is a part of a lot I picked up at the antique shop. It is a Trafari vintage owl brooch. It sold for $29.50 plus free shipping. This is an enamel pin set uh, modeled after the vintage cantina characters that were made by Sears. And you can see the infamous um, snaggletooth, the tall snaggletooth rather than short. They sold for $29.50 uh, with free shipping. This went to Germany. <clears throat> Another card reader uh, just shipped out a day or so ago. Um, uh, with free shipping through the global shipping system. This is a Playmobil Haunted House accessory. This this is my second to last item that sold is the Grim Reaper and the Mummy. And that's going to France via direct shipping, uh, simple export rate that I did through Pirate Ship. Some Belvera Winter Boots went for $67 with free shipping going somewhere in the U.S. This is a uh, Ghost's Papa Emeritus third reaction figure. Uh, sold for $24.50 plus $4.39 shipping. And that was it. So we'll talk about some new items that arrived. Uh, one, I bought a lot of Tommy Bahama six and a half foot fiberglass beach umbrella that had the tilt feature and the bore into the sand feature and uh, a carry bag. Um, my rep from this liquidation company told me about them, kept telling it over and over and over, and over again. I guess he wanted to get rid of them because I eventually gave in and bought all six. <coughs> Excuse me. But when they shipped them to me, I was able to get free shipping, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, this is two new, also from the same liquidation company, uh, the game Hungry Hungry Hippos. I picked up two of them. Uh, they're listed and ready to go. For $25.50 with free shipping. These are non-slip card protectors. Uh, they're a little bit different. They're not top loader sheets that go into a three ring binder. They actually load sideways. And they're on front and back. So you can fit 50 per, or excuse me, um, 25 count, 18 pockets per page. Uh, these I had for a long time. I thought they were listed. I didn't know why they were selling. I had them up originally and I sold quite a few through Amazon. And then I got a little slap on the hand about it. And then I would kept they were sitting next to my desk. I'm like, why aren't these selling? So I tried to look them up and lo and behold, they weren't listed. So I put them up for 8850, <coughs> uh, 519 shipping. At least that's the 519 if it's around me. If someone says, hey, I want free shipping. I don't have a problem with it. I'll ship it out priority to them. Uh, this is one of two reaction figures I just got in. Um, or one of three, excuse me. It's the male alien from They Live. He's going for $22.50. And that should be free shipping. I'm going to have to make a correction on that. Female alien, same movie. These are the only two characters they made from the movie. They were going to do Nada, played by... Roddy Piper, but there was licensing issues, so only these two were made. Uh, Vic Rattlehead, the mascot from Megadeth. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s, you know who Megadeth is, particularly if you're a rocker or a metalhead. Uh, I picked up a lot of six Thanksgiving postcards. I, I dig Thanksgiving postcards. Well, I dig postcards in general. I don't know why. Just the neat graphic, particularly the antique ones. These are all from uh, 1912 and earlier. And here are the rest of them. Uh, I find it interesting. The ones particularly made in Germany uh, from the early 1900s. They didn't know what Thanksgiving was or how significant of an or what type of American holiday it was. So you'll find these weird crossover Thanksgiving cards that have look like almost a hybrid Fourth of July feel to them. But I have them up six to seven fifty for all six. And uh, for my highlight item, it's the Misadventures of Homer Simpson uh, from the Hamilton Collection. These are what I have left. I had about 12 of these. And uh, you got Homer, uh, one with nature over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Big Duffer, Homer on the golf course. Gone fishing, where he's at. The old, there's uh, Blinky, the three-eyed fish. Um, 
spare me. And if you if you flip this around on the back of his jacket, it actually is the pin pal jacket from one where Homer starts a bowling team. This one's called Woohoo, which is Homer's catchphrase. Asleep on the job. Look out below. All strung out. And Mr. Fitness. And so, <clears throat> for my word of caution for new collectors, um, when you're buying, particularly on au public auction, uh, places like liveauctioneers.com, eBay included on that, when you're looking at action figures, particularly vintage ones, and it says mint on card, take a very, very close look. And it doesn't just have to be vintage action figures. It's all action figures in general. People will take them out of their case, out of their, off the bubble. They will heat the bubble off, set their figure up on a display or do whatever with it. And when it's time to get rid of them, they will re-glue them back on and still list it as mint on card. Now, I don't know if that's acceptable or not. In my eyes, that is no longer mint on card. That is a figure that has been out of that card. You cannot send that figure in to get graded because it will stand out like a sore thumb no matter how good of a job they did. So, when you are looking at action figures, particularly ones that are still carded, take a very close look. Blow the pictures up as big as possible. Take a look around those edges. Look for signs of re-gluing, shifted, shifted color, anything along those lines. Uh, to be forewarned, to be forearmed. And that's all I have for what's sold this week. So... Let's uh, turn the camera around and we'll close it out. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, as I said, that was uh, what sold in the last two weeks. Um, it's been flat. Things hopefully will get better. Everything you saw, it sold on eBay. Uh, my site is flat because I did something to it and it's not showing up. So it's preventing people from ordering. I'm trying to fix it, but, you know, Learn teaching yourself to program a website uh, and WordPress is like teaching yourself how to fly a plane as you're trying to build it. So, so be it. It's a work in progress, as it always is. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, visit my site, www.tacticstotoys.com. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, also the same on Facebook and Instagram, Tactics, the number two, and Toys. On one word, you can find me there too. Uh, I've Post feature products, weird things. Um, I knew items that are coming in. As a matter of fact, uh, take a look on Friday because I have something that's going to pop up on Friday. It doesn't get here till Friday, and I'll post it up there. All right, take care. Have a great night. Cheers.